everybody welcome to the November card class and we're going to be doing some Christmas cards today we've got three cards and it is very appropriate today because we have some snow on the ground our first snowfall to stay on the ground so just a little bit but it is putting me in the mood for Christmas cards so here we go I'm using the Christmas to remember stamp set for all three of our cards and I just love the the font and the beautiful sentiments for Christmas here. And the paper I'm using is actually the Ever Eden Designer Series paper, which is not in any catalog, so um, you have to order it online or through me. And um, but this this layout that we're doing, this easy layout, can be used with any paper and in any direction. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. And this is a uh, it's a four-step card, so we've just got a card base, designer series paper, a sentiment, and some um, embellishments. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment with soft succulent ink. And I mean, I used the Label Me Lovely Punch for my, for my sentiments here. Um, these sentiments also go with a, a die set that is with this product suite, but... And a just easy way to do it and to get a lot of multiples is to punch out using a punch. So, Label Me Lovely is the name of this one. And let me grab a card base here. And I have kits for all the projects ready to go. So if you didn't get a kit, let me know and um, we can make arrangements to get that to you. So I'm using... Um, one of the other patterns of the paper and they all have these uh, metallic gold accents so they're so it's such beautiful paper and of course I love this color soft succulent so I'm going to just put adhesive on the back of my paper and if you wanted to you could also alternate the designs too but I just think it looks really pretty all with the, the same same design so just put a little glue on my strips and you can really put them in any any sort of order you like but I kind of um, alternated them back and forth and I like to do when I'm putting pieces on like this I like to do the um, the top and the bottom first just so I get the same um, same distance from the top and then work on the center ones and get them kind of evened up and there's no I'm just kind of staggering them randomly so there's no right or wrong way to do that and by using the liquid glue you give a, you have a little wiggle wiggle room to move them around a little bit if you have them um, crooked or need to change the spacing a little bit okay that looks pretty good all right and I'm just going to add my sentiment with dimensionals and before I actually adhere it I wanted to show you that you could also do it this direction in fact maybe I will so I have um, this one to show people as well but my glue is still a little wet there so I don't want to move my strips any longer so let's put that one there so put it there and then add some gems and these are the garden gems that go along with the Eden's um, Ever Eden designer paper and they also are only available while supplies last. So let's stick a couple of them there and maybe another one up here. They also have these really cool gem-like ones too that I used on this one. All right, so there's the card as easy peasy as you can get. Um, I guess we should stamp a sentiment on the inside. How about season's greetings. Got a little edge there, so I'm going to wipe that off before I stamp it. Okay, so season's greetings on the inside, and that one is ready to go. All right, I'm going to sign out now, and we'll get ready for the next card. See you in a bit.